I'm going to be making a table runner for my dining room table. I bought this bulky knitting yarn from Michaels a year or two ago. It was on sale and wanted to do something with it. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. I have two skeins and uh, I recently got some size 35 knitting needles. That's US or 19 millimeter knitting needles from Darn Good Yarn. They're wooden. They're big and hefty. I really like them. I'm going to show you today, starting in this video, how to cast on. This is the method that I use to cast on. There are many different methods to use. I use different ones at different times. This is the one I'm going to use for this one. First of all, you make a loop and slip it on. Do you see what I just did? I'm going to do it again. You make a loop like this. You pull the loop through the back and through. And then you put the knitting needle through that loop and you pull it tight. And that's your first stitch. This end is going to be I'm going to take a needle at the end when I'm done with my project and I'm going to intertwine it through the project and it'll be hidden. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit. Let me get in a little tighter. A little tighter. A little tighter. So that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, you can go in behind, in and behind. You take your long string, go around the back knitting needle. You pull that loop through to the front. So then you have two loops. Then you go back onto the left hand side and slip it on and you can let it go. There you go. You've got two stitches on there now. Again, in through the front to the back, slip around, pull through to the front, pull it loose, Slip that stitch back on, right on to the left needle, and you've got three. You don't even have to take the right needle off of your, out of the loop. You can keep it on and keep working now. So watch, we'll repeat. Around, through, pull, Slip back on, put the right one behind the left one. Take the long string, slip it around the right needle tip, pull it through the left loop, make a right loop. Slip it on the left side, tuck that right tip, behind the left tip and we'll do it again around slip through and then we'll go like this and that's all there is to casting on stitches let me get me some thread casting on stitches in this method so right now I have two, four, six stitches on already. I want to go for 20 stitches. So I'm going to keep doing that around, through, back on, behind, around, through, back on, behind. And then I'll pull it down around, through. Ooh, cars are passing. 
back on, behind. See how it's going? Around, through, back on, and then behind. Let me pull some more yarn. It goes by fast once you've got the hang of it. It's not hard at all. It's rep Knitting is all repetition of the same movement over and over and over again. And once you know how to do this, you can just fly. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 13, 14, I'm a little awkward, 'cause I'm trying to stay in the picture here, 15, I hope I am, am I doing it, am I doing it, and that's all you do. You keep going until you reach 20. I'm getting there. Let me see how many I got so far. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Four more. 17. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now I'm ready to get my work done.